Excuse me. I'm here for a meeting with Dean Strathman. He uh, asked me to come by. Did you make an appointment? Well, no. I was just informed an hour or so ago that he wanted to see the me. The Dean reserves his open door policy strictly for students, not teachers. Yeah, but I was just informed uh, not an hour ago, so I didn't have time to go through the proper channels, so. which is why. Uh, Excuse me, Mr. Dixtra. Mr. Dixtra. Mr. Dixtra. Oh, Jonathan. Hey, your ears must have been burning. Oh, John. I'm glad you made it. Uh, come on in. Oh, thanks for you Oh, thank you. You know, you might want to start getting used to all this. Handling my things. Suits you better. Just kidding, man. Russell, this was all very constructive. I look forward to hearing from you. <laughs> Thanks, Roger. <laughs> hey, Johnny, let's catch up soon. Take it easy, pal. John, why don't you close the door and take a seat? Please, have a seat. Department. Well, that's quite a coveted position. Yes. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. And it can be unrelenting, you know. Asks a lot of you. God, I should know I'm a dean for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm well aware of what the job entails. Here's the thing. Question here? Whoa, no, 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 no one's <clears throat> questioning your ability, John. Hell no. I mean, am I right, Mitch? Uh, no one's, no one's, no one's questioning. There's no question, John. That's why you and Roger are the top considerations. Who is that? That's uh, Mitch Forsyth. He's uh, from our psych department. I'm confused. Well, you see, uh, it's a, it's a tough decision I'm going to be making. And uh, frankly, it's one I can't make on my own. Yes, but you're the dean. You're the only one that can make that decision. Yes. Yes. But even so, um, sometimes even I need guidance, which is why I brought Mitch in to merely consult on this. But we're talking literature here. I'm a literature professor. You are, and, uh, and a stand-up one at that. Top notch. Top. I'm sorry. Sh should I be worried? Because I'm a little worried, and I, I still don't know why he's here. Mitch is just a consultant, John. Mere consultant, John. Yeah. And you're having coffee with Roger behind closed doors? I have 12 years going for me, and he here I am, cheeks clenched, afraid of some fucking kid. Whoa, whoa, oh, man. oh John, hey, hey. Now, I I know you're probably anxious for a decision, but there's, there's no need for the vulgarity. Nobody is questioning your loyalty here. We just need you to stay focused on what's right in front of you. Because you seem a bit um, lost. Uh, the new book has sidetracked me a bit. Mm -hmm. That's what we uh, are concerned about. Distractions, John. Distractions. That could hinder your ability if you were to be made chair. Now, uh, why don't I have Louise make us more coffee? I uh, actually can't stay here. I have a 
prior engagement that I need to get oh, to. That, that's not a problem. Some other time. And uh, remember, John, the decision I arrive at has no bearing whatsoever on you or your character in this university. Now, take it easy, okay? Oh, and Louise, could you please bring us some fresh coffee? people should be able to help me out with this. What's that? Well, just that in our current climate, writing for profit is the only way to stay afloat. You've managed to make a successful run on your Harden series. Why aren't you taking advantage of that? Well, that's because he's only semi-successful. Right, John? <laughs> Otherwise, he wouldn't be here with all of us. Well, thank you for the kind words, Christine. I'm flattered. But I still do think we, as authors, should serve the story first, above anything else. <laughs> Money should be secondary. Come on, John. You don't really believe that. I mean, your books revolve around a hitman. That's a joke, right? You kidding? Of course he believes that. Look at him. With the boots and the pants and his little shirt. By the way, he's got the same get up on every single time he comes in here. You, you ever notice that? Am I the only one? I mean, look at this guy. He, he thinks he really is Rick Harden. <laughs> Or maybe he just wants to be. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, John Boy, just so you know, this whole rebel thing you've been cultivating, it's, it's, it's really not working for you. And if uh, sneaking alcohol into a library is the full extent of your rule breaking, maybe it's time for you to cut your losses. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the only one thinking it. Mm. <laughs> Excuse me. I need to use the restroom. Oh, come on. Come on, lighten up, Rick. Sorry, John, 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 John. I do actually need your help on something. It's something that only you can help me with. Yeah? Great. Um, what is your going rate? Because I've got this neighbor with a real yapper of a dog. <laughs> You're mad. I have to have fun somehow.
Tomboy. Hey. Listen, no hard feelings about um, all the stuff earlier, right? When my tires aren't slashed or anything earlier. <laughs> walking along the canal near Bassey Park. If you have any information concerning the whereabouts of Hillary Walker and Dustin Riley, please contact the authorities.
it's Russell Strathman here. Um, I know you're probably anxious for a decision, which is, uh, well, I'll get right to it. After much deliberation, we've decided to offer the chair position to Roger. Uh, but please know this, this decision does not reflect badly on you. We just uh, feel Roger is a better fit at this, at this time. Well, uh, if you have any questions or want to talk, uh, please just uh, stop by anytime, okay? All right, take care. Louise, have you seen my keys? John, you're a good professor. You know, that's what you're good at. And I think that chair would only distract you. But with all the politics and the oversight, and it's, you know, it's a whole thing. Roger, can we not? I've really got a lot on my plate right now. I still have yet to grade last week's papers. Look at this. Hey, is this one of your, uh, your little cute stories? Motion blur. Rick Harden. He sounds like a mean guy. Wow. 17 chapters. Really put a lot of work into this one, didn't you? <laughs> it's my newest. Can't wait to read it. But really, Roger, I have a lot to catch up on. Right, yeah, of course. Hey, who knows? I'll probably end up hating this whole chair thing anyway. <laughs> Keep at it, John. And uh, hopefully there's no hard feelings. Sure. Roger, it's John. Oh, hey, bud. I just want to say, you deserve getting chair. And I was being a sore loser. To make things right, I'd like to take you out for a round of congratulatory drinks. Maybe tonight after work. Oh, uh, John, I knew you'd come around. And you know, my... <laughs> My lips are dry, so I think I'll take you up on that offer. Why don't you swing by my office today and we'll hash things out, okay? Sounds perfect. Sounds good, pal. Looking forward to seeing you.